Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Oda Treasure. This is Steven. This is my channel where I talk about discontinued, rare, vintage fragrances, interesting fragrances. This one is not really in any of those categories. This is kind of a different video. I usually don't do reviews on this channel. There's a lot of fragrance channels on YouTube where you can go if you want to see a review for a particular fragrance, cologne, perfume that you're looking for. But maybe you're interested in this one. This one is called Mercedes The Move. I bought this one because it was sealed, it was brand new, it was really cheap, or not really cheap, but relatively cheap, and I was interested in it. So I bought this, and it just arrived like an hour ago. I'm gonna open this up, gonna give you my initial impression, a little review on this one, Mercedes The Move. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are there two in here? I just remembered, I just remembered. I bought two and I forgot. So one of them was, uh, they were selling these really cheap and I asked the seller if they would put them together with a discount and the seller said yes. So I paid 3,000 yen for this, which is about $20. And I forgot that I got two for $20. So these were, 10 bucks a piece. So we have a 60 ml. Yeah, they're both 60 mls. And uh, yeah, Mercedes Benz The Move. Now, Mercedes is a car company that's kind of prolific with fragrances. You might write them off because it's not Chanel or Dior, but actually, Mercedes makes decent fragrances. And one of the most famous ones that they have, one of the most popular ones, is called Mercedes Benz Club Black which is a vanilla ambery fragrance, and it gets talked about incessantly on uh, YouTube channels, especially for winter and fall fragrances. And I bought that one like two, two or three years ago when that first started to get some hype. I went online, went on eBay or wherever it was and bought it for like $42, 40 bucks, $42, maybe 44, and it was a set that was a 100 ml bottle that came with a shampoo or something like that, shampoo and conditioner. But it's in USA, it went to my house in USA, not here in Japan where I live, so I've never tried it before, guys. I have no idea what Mercedes Club Black smells like. Well, I have an idea from the reviews, but that is a modern treasure that I can't wait to try when, next time I go back to USA. But let's talk about this. Let's open this one up. This one is a little bit, uh, well, it hasn't been opened. It's still sealed, but the label's coming off. And this one is perfectly sealed. This one I can resell. Probably get my money back for this whole thing. So $10 a piece I paid for these. It's a no-brainer, right? Let's give it a try. Now, the reviews say that this smells a lot like Invictus. So I know what Invictus smells like, although I haven't smelled it in about a year. But I can compare and tell you what I think about this one if it compares to Invictus or what the differences are. Let's see. So it's an interesting bottle. It's different than a lot of the other bottle shapes that Mercedes has. So there are actually two flankers in this The Move line. Let's take a look at it. Mercedes Benz The Move. It has a built-in sprayer, and then on the back it has the uh, Mercedes logo kind of etched in the glass here. Cool looking bottle. The flankers that I mentioned are called Express Yourself and Live the Moment. Don't know anything about those guys. All right, so let's give a test spray. Really nice sprayer. It sprays a nice mist. All right, let's give a test smell here. Off the initial impression, definitely Invictus. You definitely get that bubblegum sweetness right away. This smells really good, I like it. And the perfumer is Dominique Ropion. He is prolific. I just looked at his profile and there are hundreds of fragrances that he is behind. But you know what fragrance that he created that has relevance to this one? How about the original Paco Rabanne Invictus? Yes, he is one of the creators of the original Invictus, so he 
knows the Invictus DNA like the back of his hand, and he made an Invictus inspired fragrance for Mercedes, and that's what this is. It smells just like Invictus. Let me read you the notes right now off of Fragrantica. You have apple blossom, grapefruit, and cardamom for the top notes. In the middle notes, you have C notes, salt, and geranium. And then the base notes are tonka bean and balsam fir. So I just gave myself a spray on the back of my hand. I'll come back to the video after some time and tell you how I feel about the dry down and wrap this one up. All right, guys, coming back to the video. It's been about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And the, uh, the dry down is pretty nice. To me, it's somewhat linear. I don't smell anything that different except the, um, you know, the balsam fir, the geranium. Some of those notes kind of come out more after the sweet bubblegum scent dries off. But that's what this is. This is an Invictus clone, basically. And if you can get this, if you're interested in that kind of fragrance, I would say 20 bucks is worth it for the 60 ml. $25. For the 100 ml don't pay $30 or don't pay over $30 for this because guys this is to me no different than any of the other Invictus or Invictus Aqua clones even because this is on the uh, kind of on the Invictus Aqua the salty marine it leans that way so like for example if you go to Zara Zara I believe it's called Zara Man Blue Spirit that one's fine or the one that's called Zara Soul Gangnam that's fine too. There's like Zara has like three or four different Invictus clones that are similar to this. This one, it just doesn't smell very strong. So I don't think the performance is really anything that much better than any of the other clones. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit is a fantastic smelling clone. The performance isn't that great, probably like this one, but just give yourself some extra spray, spray it on your clothes. Guys, this is one of the best types of fresh fragrances for the summer, for hot weather. You know that ladies love this DNA. As long as you don't overdo it, and as long as you're not in Asia or Japan, I think a lot of the Asian women don't like overly sweet scents. So if you don't overdo it, you just smell clean with this. I think that's the way to go. My favorite Invictus clone is called Armoff Aura. That's the best one I've ever tried. And that one is $20, $25. I remember wearing that like four years ago and thinking, wow, this thing is nuclear. That's the strongest, best performing Invictus Aqua Clone that I've ever tried and you can't get it in stores and sometimes it's hard to find but it pops up on eBay you gotta buy it from an Indian seller and for 20-25 bucks that's my favorite one so I'm happy I got this ten dollars right it's a no-brainer probably sell this one for 20 bucks and uh, get my money back you know I, I grabbed it quickly I think it was up for sale for like 15 minutes before I uh, got a reply from the seller and bought it so one of the benefits of living in Japan is you get these great deals. You find these awesome deals. So I'll definitely keep this for next season at least because we're moving into fall now and the weather's getting cooler. I'm going to wear this in the summer. This is just a perfect, fresh, clean, sweet fragrance for the summertime. And I'm sure I'm going to choke out everybody on the train when I get on the train after spraying this about 20 times. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you like this review of Mercedes-Benz The Move. And if you did, why not subscribe if you like seeing this content? I usually do discontinued, vintage, rare, and interesting fragrances. So subscribe. Check out the videos, the other videos, the video tab on my channel if you want to see what else I got. I have a couple other Mercedes-Benz videos. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a like, and comment down below if you want to say hi. Or if you want to tell me what you think of Mercedes-Benz The Move. If you see it at a store, guys, try it out. Sample it and see if you like it yourself. All right, that's it for this one. Hope you're having a great day out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.